So Tesla Powerwalls to the rescue. Power's been out for about a half hour now. Well, for everyone else in the neighborhood, except for those of us with power walls. I've got two power walls here on the wall. I don't have solar yet. I'm getting solar in a week or actually one to two weeks. That's what Tesla Solar says anyway. We'll see how it goes with that, with the tropical storm coming through here. Hope everyone's okay down south. I'm in the Charlotte, North Carolina area and we have, it's just gotten cloudy now. The storm I think is passing north of us. And I think what happened was something with Spectrum happened. Our internet provider, which sucks. I wish we had fiber. Something happened to everyone else but we've been on backup power this entire time. I got a notification that my power walls were full um, a couple hours ago, or an hour ago, I think it was, which is perfect. I think it knew the storm was coming. It usually sits around 99 to 100% every day. We've been off power for, I don't know, this, the app is new, so it's kind of hard to see exactly where, when we've been off power, but right now it says that I have 14 hours remaining with these two power walls, and we're down to 95% already. And right now we're using three kilowatts of power because I'm still running my air conditioners. Uh, actually, my dishwasher is almost done running and uh, we have two air conditioners in this house. So I'm running quite a bit of power. I'm not charging any of my cars. I have the Tesla Model Y here and I have the Audi e-tron right here. Now my internet is not working. We, I, I said we have Spectrum, uh, high-speed internet through Spectrum, uh, 950 download and like 50 upload or something like that. It's kind of slow upload, but that is out as well. So I'm not sure. I thought the internet would still flow through the lines, but I got a notification from Spectrum that they did something. So I'm assuming they've screwed up the power for everyone and also their internet. I used to have fiber internet and the guy told me that that would still flow through the lines because there's less resistance unless it's out where they're actually pumping out the internet through Statesville, north, or just north of us. Let me uh, open the garage up here because it's quite hot in here. It's 91 degrees today. And check out what I did with my garage door. See it's angled up. I angled that up. I did that myself. Uh, we had a lightning strike on a tree. We had a lightning strike on one of those trees over there. So those are going in the spring because of solar. It blew out some things in the house and one of them was my garage door opener. So I bought a wall mounted garage door opener and then I just angled these up, cut the line over there, angled these up, gives me a lot more space. Now my trunk opens up without actually hitting anything. So I have the two power walls. They are not signed by Elon. Those are stickers that I got from a guy, sent them out to me, which is awesome. If you go to the side, there's a green light that appears showing that they're on. Each one of these has 13.5 kilowatts of power stored inside those at 100%. So I have 27 kilowatts available. That's gonna be more important once we get solar because I'm getting 8.1 worth of solar on the roof. We use quite a bit of power because of the two power wall or because of the two electric cars. But my goal is to, for the Tesla Model Y, plug that in to a 110 outlet during the day when it's nice and hot out and well, sunny out and trickle charge that so it ends up being free or through the sun that's the goal my wife gets home too late so we'll have to charge that one and probably use some grid power here's the rest of the system this is the gateway through tesla if you open up the glass door here it's really just a this is the main fuse to the house is a 200 amp system and these two are going directly to the power walls and then these feed to the panel the sub panel so th this is the main panel now. This actually becomes the sub panel once you have power walls and solar. Once I realized that the power was out, I came out here and turned off my hot tub. I do have a hot tub out back and that is a 60 amp breaker. And that runs quite a bit, even though it's hot today, it still runs the pumps a little bit and that uses a lot of power. So that is the only thing I've turned off. And we're running completely on battery power only. The notification said it's only gonna be out for a couple hours. So that's why I haven't turned too many things off but let's go back to the app and see but we're still pumping out three kilowatts because probably both air conditioners are running we're down to 94 percent power and it's really cool to see the grid with an x through it and is all battery power now this is the new app i can't wait for the solar to be added to it and then there'll be solar on top of the roof and it'll show another arrow coming down so it looks like through the power walls we've we've used 2.1 kilowatts of power, kilowatt hours of power. 
uh, today so far with this power outage. I'm gonna keep you posted on this and see how much we deplete this. Do I deplete this all the way? When do I turn these off and just go completely no power? Because I don't want to brick these things. That is the problem without solar. These things can be charged to 100% and stay at 100%, but you don't want to drop these down to 0%. It is not good for these things whatsoever. So at some point, I probably will turn them off, maybe around 5%. But with solar, you're gonna be trickle charging these throughout the day and using the power. So, so thanks again for everyone that used my referral code for uh, buying a Tesla or buying solar. If you're interested in solar, Tesla Solar is really good priced. I actually priced out a couple companies and one I was gonna work with, they wanted to advertise on the channel, which is gonna give me a break. They were much higher than what Tesla was even without the power walls. They're the company who installed these for me because Tesla was not doing that at the time here. Now they are, and now I'm getting eight kilowatts for $16,500. I can't wait because solar is very important, not just for uh, helping out the environment, but also as prices go higher for electricity and gas and things like that, my house is kind of be immune to that. So if you're interested in solar, click the link down below, use my referral code. It saves you a hundred bucks. I mean, hundred bucks is a hundred bucks, but it also helps out the channel because if I have 10 people that use our code for solar, we actually get another power wall. And that'd be cool to have a third one, although it would be white. It won't be red like this. I'll probably wrap it though. Uh, we get three power walls and then that would just help out the channel even more. Another 13.5 kilowatts can do on top of the 27 that we have. So this is gonna be an experiment. I'll keep you posted. I've wanted to do something like this where I turned off the power to the house and just ran off the batteries, but with family stuff, it was just hectic. Now I'm forced into doing it and you're along for the ride. Thanks for watching, but there's more. Told you the dishwasher was working. It opens up during the drying time all by itself. It's kind of cool. I was just outside doing some yard work and now we're down to 83%. Looks like we have seven and a half hours or 7.4 hours left and it's worth 3.1 kilowatts being used. Probably I can hear the air conditioner going on down here. So it's probably going, uh, probably working upstairs as well. Uh, but it's really cool to see everything that is happening right here. So it's five o'clock. So we've been out of power for quite a while here in the neighborhood. Although they've been out of power, I haven't been. At this rate, at seven hours left, it's five o'clock well into the evening as things cool down we're going to use less uh we're going to use less ac which means we probably have more than seven and a half hours probably have till the middle of the night sometime uh, i'm kind of curious if we're going to get power back so i'm still able to cook i got a gas stove here i've got a grill outside i'm not going to run the oven but <laughs> that would kill my power they said a couple hours a couple hours ago so maybe it'll come on soon and we should have power really soon because our internet just popped back on a little bit ago i'll keep you updated so the power came back on while I was cooking dinner because our stove still worked. The electric stove would have worked as well, but uh, I didn't have a problem using the gas at all. I have no problem with gas. Anyway, um, one of the main reasons I didn't turn the air conditioners off because actually when both air conditioners were running, I thought it was three kilowatts, but it was actually 4.5 kilowatts. And that could have been some other stuff that was turned on as well. But I wanted to see what it was like if we ran the air conditioners, how long we can last. And so three hours of the power being out, we got down to 78% on the on both power walls. I still think we would have got the seven hours, eight hours, maybe nine hours out of the power walls before I had to turn them off at like 5%, uh, maybe even more, I'm not sure. This was a very good test because if I knew that the power was going out because of a hurricane or something like that, because we are in hurricane country in North Carolina, if I know the power is gonna go out because of that, I'm gonna turn off the air conditioners. I'm gonna open up the windows a little bit and we're gonna, we're gonna maintain a smaller footprint. Of course, we're still not gonna charge the cars because those things will drain those power walls quickly. But we're able to, we'll still be able to use a TV, but I wouldn't run the dishwasher. I wouldn't run a couple things. We have tankless hot water tanks, so we would have hot water, have all the basic features, keep our refrigerators going, but not have the creature comforts of air conditioning. I jumped on this opportunity for that reason. And right now it's been like an hour. I ate dinner and then uh, we're up to 90% already on the batteries, which is good because that tropical storm is coming. And it's going to rain all day tomorrow. So just in case the power does go out, we'll have some power. So anyway, I think this technology is amazing that Tesla brought batteries into the home. We're using batteries for the car. And now next in two weeks or so, we're going to have, solar panels 
charging those batteries up on our house. I don't know how long it'll take for the for them to actually turn everything on. I think Tesla is way ahead. Like they are on their Tesla vehicles, they're way ahead in solar on um, price as well. Uh, and you know, pretty much everything Elon touches is pretty good. Hopefully it stays true for those robots. So again, if you're looking for solar, if you want solar on your house, Tesla is expanding their network everywhere and maybe they're installing by you. Thanks for watching. As always, stay awesome, stay positive, and I'll catch you on the next one. See ya. Oh, and I'm sure someone's gonna ask what'd you make for dinner. I just made a, I like breakfast for dinner, so I made bacon and pancakes.